Hey there, service pros. This is Christian from the Workies product team. In this video, we're going to talk about our most recommended way of optimizing your price book experience in Workies through the power of flat rate items. We're going to skip the part about creating items, otherwise known as your line items for materials, parts, and labor. It's all fairly straightforward, but feel free to check out our help center for more on that. Instead, I want to talk about all that goes into making a streamlined digital catalog for you and your team members to easily and efficiently quote jobs out in the field. Let's talk about item groups. To get there, we'll need to head over to the Item Groups tab from the Items and Product Settings page. Workies allows you to create groups in two different ways, as individual items and as a flat rate item. The first one is simple. You group these various items that you can add to a job with just a click, but they all appear broken down as individual items on a client's invoice. They'll see the specific items for the materials and labor. Flat rate simplifies things. Depending on your industry, you might call this a service or a task, but what this does is allows you to create a group of items that are then displayed as a single line item. That makes it really simple for your clients to see what they're paying for, but also simplifies things for your team since you can group specific materials or parts with the required labor that you've predefined. All of it added to a job with just a single tap or click. Let's create one real quick. We'll just add some materials and our labor charge. We know this specific service requires two and a half hours of our residential labor, so we'll adjust that no problem. Notice that when creating a flat rate item, you're no longer allowed to edit the prices or costs. That's because your flat rate items exist dynamically to always be up to date based on the prices and costs that you have set up for the individual materials and labor that comprise this flat rate item. Let's talk about updating those individual items real quick. Say for example, your supplier has raised their prices by 10%. To update your costs and prices, you can head over to the items and products tab, select all of the items that you want to update, and then make your bulk changes. Now let's go back to the flat rate item that we created earlier. You can see here that our prices are updated for this flat rate item too. It'll always be in sync with your items as you update them over time. And while we're here, let's quickly touch on categories, an important component of your price book. Categories are designed to help you organize your catalog in a way that's built around your business. Adding flat rate items to specific categories makes it easy for your team to find exactly what they need for a job right on the spot. Now let's show you what it'll look like when you actually use your price book to add a flat rate item to a job. We'll just open up our job, head over to the items tab, add items from our price book, and then find the flat rate item that we need. You can find your flat rate item using the search bar at the top or navigate through your price book categories. Notice that, just like we mentioned before, we're only seeing a single line item on this job. You can select it to see a breakdown of the individual line items that exist within this flat rate item. You can even make quick changes, like adjusting the amount of hours you expect this job to take or even adding a different type of labor that you want to charge for. Making changes here won't impact the flat rate item that you created before. That'll stay the same. And if we head over to the invoice, here's what your clients are going to see. Single item. And that's it. That's how you use flat rate items and categories to create and manage your price book and workies. Feel free to subscribe to this channel for all the latest on how workies can help your business grow. Thanks for watching.